I'm Aikya um, and I graduated uh, my bachelor's in 2014 uh, from Ahmedabad. I studied at uh, LD College of Engineering, which comes under Gujarat Technological University, sir. Um, at that time, at least it was. Um, and uh, I completed my master's degree from Arizona State University in Computer Science. Uh, and I received my degree in December 2019. Uh, the reason for choosing that course was uh, simple. I graduated with uh, information technology in my bachelor's. Uh, I had two years of uh, work experience, industry experience, while uh, before my master's degree. So uh, I wanted to enhance my skills. Uh, uh, you know, get to know about the latest trends in technology, uh, just updation of knowledge. Uh, I think computer science would be the way to go. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's what I. Uh, that's why I prefer computer science. I was also interested a little bit about uh, the computational aspect of sciences, pure natural sciences as well. So I had uh, uh, Netherlands in mind um, and I explored a little bit of Germany, but then I had to learn German. Uh, and again, for Netherlands, I think I had to learn Dutch, which I was not very keen on doing. Uh, um, then the options limited to Canada and US and uh, US by far uh, came out on top in terms of uh, educational institutes uh, as well as the number of opportunities uh, and in terms of weather as well. Uh, I'd say uh, I'm, I'm a little, I, I would rather avoid extreme cold. <laughs> so that these were the factors for me choosing um, US. I applied to four other universities in US, uh, which uh, I felt were uh, probably within my range uh, in terms of GRE scores. Uh, one was uh, Texas A&M University uh, in College Station. Uh, this is also one of the most renowned universities. Uh, it prob was probably my first target uh, because of its uh, excellent computer science program, uh, as well as extreme cheap cost in terms of fees and education. Um, so that was my first preference. Uh, I did apply to Stony Brook University, again, it's on the eastern side. Um, yeah, the weather and the cost of living were a little dicey, but it would make up for the, 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 the university tuition itself was slightly uh, cheaper, uh, with again, not compromising the uh, level of education that Stony Brook University offers. And third was New York University. Uh, uh, I, I chose New York because it had a good reputation, uh, but I was not probably, I would, if I, if I, I would have got from any other university from the other ones, I would have taken the other ones. So New York University was not too keen on, but I had to apply because it's one of the good uh, universities that took spring in. Uh, and finally, it was the fourth was the Arizona State University, uh, which I got the admit. So it was, it was a long process. Uh, now I I had not given my GREs and TOEFLs uh, be, beforehand. So it's like no, I will. Um, and then I had to quit work, actually. Uh, and I thought of uh, you know preparing fully for my GRE and TOEFL. So I started uh, my preparation in about uh, March of 2017, uh, and gave my GRE by the end of uh, by the end of uh, April. And, I had given both my uh, uh, GRE and TOEFL uh, and uh, then I started with my preparation in terms of uh, SOP and uh, uh, reaching my university for my letter of recommendation, uh, you know, drafts of SOPs and stuff. Uh, so from, you can say from March to August 1 was my complete preparation in, uh, and for the application SOP and everything. Um, yeah, so so that was the case for the visa, and then subsequently, uh, from um, after I got an admit from about September, maybe mid September, I don't remember exactly. It was, it was a while ago. Uh, so I'd say mid September, I, I I knew that I had an admit from Arizona State. Uh, then began the process of acquiring the I twenty, uh, thinking about the funding of how to get the I twenty because even for getting the I twenty, you require some statement of bank balance 
uh, that you have to show that half the this is half the year's fee you have to show. So, uh, but I the process of applying for a loan started uh, getting the date for the visa started. Uh, uh, had my visa interview at about eighth of December, uh, and uh, my first day of university was uh, January of 2018. So you can say from March 2017. Uh, two months I completed my GRE and all. After next uh, one one or two months I completed my SOPs and LORs, uh, and then the visa and loan. My course fee I I I don't remember the exact amount. It was about fourteen thousand dollars per semester. Uh, I think. For one three credit course subject, so yeah, I think people are aware of how universities work. They they have a a course which has some sort of credits, and you earn your master's degree with thirty credits. Uh, so one if uh, for a three uh, three credit course, it was about it came to about three thousand five hundred to four thousand dollars, and then you had your um, health insurance uh, fee, everything uh, included. So. Sports fee and all that, so everything included came to about fourteen thousand uh, dollars per semester. Now this was back in twenty uh, eighteen, yeah. So about twenty eight thousand uh, dollars, just a fee, flat fee to the university per year. I was not funded because I, I had, uh, I applied for a, a non thesis, non research oriented degree. Um, most funding is received uh, if you uh, if you. Uh, uh if you do a phd uh, or if you're doing a thesis and you get a a, a research assistance or uh, it was it was difficult in my university uh, to get a research assistant uh, easily because uh, they preferred students who are either doing their thesis uh, or they are doing their uh, phd so those applications were considered for funding uh for research assistant and teaching assistant so teaching assistant they are i think half the fee was off or something like that so there was there so but there were very little scholarships for, for non thesis students i'll say academically the in terms of i'll i'll say this uh, in terms of the number of students it is it probably has uh, a is is the biggest university in terms of uh, number of students um uh, and the number of international students uh people are pre- pretty very chill i think that goes mostly for all universities but this is such a huge university with a very very passionate following of the university like they are very passionate about uh, arizona state uh university um in terms of department there was no shortage of any uh, any funding in terms of uh, lab equipments or uh, anything um our university is focusing more on uh, uh on research it's 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 probably one of the best research oriented universities for pure research so uh they had faculty uh, members who are more uh, research oriented uh going into in depth studies and courses academically we had a wide variety of courses a uh, wide variety of disciplines within computer science uh, i myself uh, did uh, com- uh, big data specialization uh, there are other areas of focus of security as well but there are a wide range of courses available throughout the year uh, in summer as well so that was one thing i'd say academically non academically i could say that uh, yeah in terms of facility there was there's no 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 stone unturned we can say that uh, great uh, uh, sports uh, facilities um, uh, great weather a uh, uh, great college town so i lived in tempe that is the main campus of arizona state university uh, it's a very uh, chill uh city in terms of nothing much happens but you get the you can get the abilities of a big city as well and uh, it's not too it's not super crowded as well uh, and you can have all all the student clubs and organizations and people are friendly and the weather is very much like india so i'd say it's a great experience please focus on your studies because i um, i was very overwhelmed with uh, all of this as always uh, it, right from school i wanted to be a part of you know some out something outside the uh, school uh, 
an academic. So uh, I joined a, for me, I joined a, a sport called Spike Ball Club, um, where we played uh, Spike Ball every weekend, so, uh, every weekdays. Um, then the, I had my, there are many so groups, social groups for uh, international students where they just meet, play and have fun games around. So um, then uh, you make, you make friends with local, uh, you make local friends and uh, they invite you to parties. So there are parties around. Uh, there's a very, there's a very famous uh, street called Mill Street, Mill Avenue, where people do party. There are bars around. Um, I missed Indian food a lot, but we had a, a biryani just right outside. Uh, so that was really great. Um, and roads were great. Uh, there were there were no shortage of clubs. There were chess clubs, and I I indulged myself in all these activities. Uh, even even let's say even for college football is very popular. So in America, college sports are pretty big, they are televised. Uh, so involving yourself, watching the games, uh, cheering for them, hanging up posters in your apartment community. Uh, so uh, I did I did a lot of those things, <laughs> but uh, probably you uh, don't do all of that <laughs> uh, and uh, keep your focus on studies. Um, try to get a good balance of both uh, social life with uh, other lo- other other local people from other communities, um, uh, local uh, Americans as well as uh, a few other international students uh, from Iran, China, Japan. Make all friends, but but also focus yourself on studies. Keep a good balance. I'll say this very specific to um, Arizona State. Um, uh, our university has a uh, has a, is a big sourcing ground for Amazon uh, in terms of computer science um, opportunities. Uh, I had some friends in my electrical who more often than not got placed um, and got internships. Um, you know, one of my friends got in Max Linear, um, uh, others got in some other power, electric power group. Uh, Intel is also a big source for electrical. Um, so for internships, uh, PayPal and Amazon are big. Uh, so people who got internships from Amazon, uh, they got converted it, most of them. Uh, some of them got full time. Apart from that, it was difficult. To, so to those who missed out on those opportunities, uh, it became a little difficult. Uh, companies in Arizona uh, do not sponsor, uh, or at least they did not, at least in 2019 it did not. Um, at the end of 2019, uh, I I did not have a job, um, but and then COVID started in March, so it was, uh, it was a struggle for me. So my experiences, I would say it is a struggle was a struggle because of COVID, but but you will find a job. Uh, you find an internship most likely, but, uh, but uh, the job would be slightly more uh, challenging because you'll find less sponsors within Arizona. Uh, you'll have to apply outside. 